Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I am having breakfast right now, so good morning if you are also having breakfast right now with me. Um, but I have something completely different for breakfast today. I, like I said in last week's video, I'm, I'm trying to branch out and maybe try some new things. So I am experimenting today. As you can see, I have a bowl of something super random. I know it's not attractive at all, but by the time that this video is up, there is a much prettier version on Instagram if you want to check that out. But what I have here is essentially just vegan cheesy grits with sweet potato, spinach, and red kidney beans. So I didn't create this recipe. This recipe is actually from this cookbook that I found at my local bookstore. And I recognized Charity because she is featured in The Game Changers, which is a really, really great documentary about like a plant-based plant life and veganism and you know bodybuilding and stuff like that and it was one of those documentaries that really hit home for me when I before I went vegan so I took a quick flip through this book and I was like I need to get this book this book is gorgeous inside of it is just so so pretty and yeah one of the recipes in here is like a vegan cheesy grits and her recipe calls for everything that's in here minus the spinach and the beans I just put that in as like an extra topping because I like spinach and I feel like beans are gonna fill me up as well as part of like a breakfast. Wow, it's like so thick that I have the bowl sideways and it's not moving. Um, I made this yesterday, by the way, so it's just heated up leftovers. But yeah, cheesy grits. And her recipe is interesting because in the cheesy grits, she calls for small diced pieces of sweet potato so that's the bit of orange that you're seeing there and to be honest with you i feel like i did a little bit too much maybe i should have scaled back on the beans because now it's just like super loaded but i'm gonna give this a taste because i i haven't forgotten but i need like a good refresher from yesterday when i first made this Again, grits are not the most attractive, <laughs> but let me know if you are a morning grits person and if you like savory grits or if you like sweet grits or if you don't like it at all, because I know some people really don't, don't like it. It is so flavorful. The base has a lot of seasoning in it and it's got like nutritional yeast and it's got all sorts of like Cajun savory flavors this is actually not a breakfast dish <laughs> i should probably say that this is um i'm pretty sure it's in her sides section of the cookbook so it's like a side for like maybe a lunch or a dinner meal but i decided to go with it for breakfast because i wanted something filling different and unique for breakfast and i'm all down for savory grits for breakfast to be honest with you i'm all down for savory anything as you all know <laughs> but this is super flavorful it has all of that lovely um, savory umami flavors from the grits itself. I like the bit of sweet potato. It is really nice, but I feel like because I did too much with the sauteed spinach and the red beans, it feels like everything all together is a bit too much. So if I was to make this again, I would probably just remove the beans and I would do the sweet potato as part of the recipe and then uh, the spinach because I love spinach and I feel like spinach goes with grits so, so well. I also feel like spinach soaks up a lot of flavor. So from all of those seasonings, the spinach really took took it on. I love spinach. I love spinach so, so much. Okay, I'm actually going to move into my home office for a little bit because I have some meetings, but I wanted to share my drink that I have. This is the Saqqara powder mixed with a double shot of espresso, a little bit of vanilla syrup, and then like half and half of almond milk and water. I use the water just to thin it out a little bit because when I was using just almond milk, it was a little bit too thick. It was a little bit more like a milkshake, which I don't really necessarily want every single day. But like this, it's the perfect mocha. Hello again, friends. It is time for lunch and I will keep this pretty brief because I'm pretty sure that I shared this last week. I don't know how that happened. I have some takeout. We ordered Thai over the weekend and you know the drill. Whenever I have takeout, it usually lasts two or three meals for me. And so what I have here are vegan drunken noodles. So it's just noodles sauteed with a bunch of different veggies. I can see from the container here, it's got uh, broccoli, bell peppers, onions, lots of bell peppers. 
Um, yeah, I think majority of this is bell peppers, which I absolutely love. And then we have the noodles mixed with a sauce. I'm pretty sure it's like a chili kind of sauce because it does have a hit of spice. And then the protein of choice is tofu. They say it's fried tofu, but it doesn't taste fried at all, even like when I receive it for the first time. Uh, but either way, really, really good. And I talked about this last week, so I'm gonna leave it at that. Hello again, friends. It is time to tell you about dinner. I am a little bit early in telling you about it. Doing it a bit early, but I know exactly what I'm gonna be making. It's super, super simple. I'm just making like a spaghetti bolognese type of meal. Very straightforward. All I'm going to be using is this. It's bonza spaghetti, you all know. Bonza is my favorite pasta. To go with uh, and then i have some jarred tomato sauce i usually go with this one because it's low sodium and i have to get that for ian and it actually tastes really really good i just zhuzh it up a little bit by adding a little bit of seasonings just my favorite seasonings sometimes garlic powder onion powder a little bit of mushroom powder that's like my secret recipe or my secret ingredient for a lot of different recipes and then this is the meat part vegan meat part of the bolognese I got this on sale. It's from Morningstar. I've never had it before, but it's called Veggie Grillers Crumbles. And I don't think it's veggie. I think it's honestly, yeah, it looks like it's just faux meat, but they call it veggie, I guess, to bring to the point that it is vegan. But it's like um, beef crumbles, I'm assuming. And so I'm just going to crumble this up, cook it up, and then add it to the tomato sauce to make that bolognese. I wish I had a little bit of like red wine to add to the sauce because that gives it a lot of like added depth and flavor but maybe i'll do a little bit of like worcestershire sauce or liquid smoke or something to add a little bit more depth of flavor into this very simple meal just those little things here and there make a big difference especially when you're making a simple meal with like prepackaged stuff it just makes the dish taste a lot better but that's pretty much it i think that's all for this week's video oh i wanted to share a taste test that i recently had so let me get the the item for you it's actually two items and it's so funny that they are in the house at the same exact time but we have two different cookies here i've tried them already so i'm just going to give you my very quick taste test uh recap starting with this one this is from partake i've seen this brand all over the place because it's got a lot of allergen friendly stuff going on which is really cool makes it super accessible especially for vegans it even says vegan right on the box but this is the cookie butter soft cookies i love soft cookies like i'm not a crunchy cookie kind of gal for the most part the cookie butter does not taste like cookie butter. When I think of cookie butter, I think of like sugar cookie. I don't know, maybe like sugar cookie dough. That's what I think of. But this tastes like straight up cinnamon. And maybe that's what cookie butter really does taste like because I had tried a cookie butter creamer, like an oat creamer, and it tasted like cinnamon. So maybe that's what cookie butter means. So I guess that's my fault, but this tastes like a cinnamon cookie, long story short. Tastes very good. It doesn't taste like that you would think that it's super allergen friendly. It just tastes like a regular old cookie that is very good. So love that. And then this one, this one is from Simple Mills. And I believe this is also a very allergen friendly kind of brand that has been floating around. I've seen a lot of people on my Instagram trying this specific one though. It's the nut butter stuff to sandwich cookies and it's the cocoa cashew cream so when i saw this on a bunch of people's feeds the first thing that went to my mind was the parent trap where lindsay lohan is eating um oreos with peanut butter am i getting that right am i mixing that up with a different movie anyway it just made me think of oreos with peanut butter so i i definitely wanted to give it a try and that's essentially what this tastes like. It tastes like a nut butter creamy filling in the inside. So it's very reminiscent of that whole peanut butter Oreo thing that I'm talking about. So again, very, very good. These are both really, really incredible depending on your, uh, your preference. I like them both. I think between the two, this one is actually a little bit more of my favorite because I like chocolate. But yeah, that's all I've got for you. That's all for today's video. Thank you so, so much for checking out this video and sticking around. I appreciate you. And I will talk to you in next week's video.